Hello, this is Jay with G Pepper Tree, and today I am doing a plan with me video. However, the challenge is no washi tape and no planner stickers. I'm going to be working off of this 12 by 12 paper pad here, Chamel True Stories by American Crafts. And whenever you're looking for pre-coordinated decorated pieces, paper pads are a wonderful go-to resource for that. So let's get started. Just turning to my September 1st week spread here, and I can't believe it's already September, but it's my birth month, so I'm excited. And that's just a quick view of my monthly spread, keeping it very clean and simple. So I'm going to be selecting which uh, sheet I want to use for my header strips. And I ultimately went with one that was already pre-stripped in design. So just cutting it with my Fiskars Precision cutting blade here and then going off to my trimmer here. That is a smaller trimmer. Just stripping it down to a quarter of an inch and... Uh, making sure that the right side is at six inches in length and the left side is four and a half inches in length. So um, once I have these all cut into the right dimension, then I will be adhering them down with my go-to favorite and it's the Elmer's Craft Bond Repositionable Glue Stick. And I like using this glue stick because whenever I don't like where I place something, I can just easily remove it. It works just like a post-it note where it can be uh, moved around and it will stick on just fine thereafter. And I have put down some white strips of label paper on this side already and I'm removing it because initially I want to put down washi tape but because I'm not going to do washi tape I don't need to mask it and so I'm just going to put down the rest of these strips and then from there on I will be going to select what I want to use as my label for top three and I decided to go with this really really cute uh, coffee um, to go cup and so I'm just fussy cutting one piece out and just making sure that I trim off any excess around the coffee cup and I will be placing this down right there and then I will be using my uh, sharpie pen and it's a very deep navy blue color just so that it repeats the color of the header adhering it down with the repositionable glue stick. And once I decide that I want to um, put it down permanently, then I'll use a more permanent um, adhesive. So I'm just removing these pre-planned notes, putting it directly on top of the boxes so that I know what goes in what box. And on the side, I decided that I would go with this hanging light bulbs uh, design because this week I want to be focused on being creative and uh, designing some really important projects that I have. So I'm hoping that this uh, strip will add to the inspiration of my entire spread. And I'm just going to be adding that top piece to uh, finish it off. Instead of having it say notes, I'm just gonna use a more inspirational piece. And so hopefully I will get brilliant ideas looking at these inspirations. All right, now next to the, well, on to the next step, I am going to be selecting this typewriter uh, designer sheet, fussy cutting one piece out so that I can get it off of the 12 by 12 so that I can maneuver a little bit better with my uh, scissor here. And this scissor is um, the EK Success Honeybee scissor, and it's great for adhesive material as well. They also have the Cutter Bee, but this is the Honeybee. And I'm leaving a little green margin around the paper of the typewriter just so that it pops out and it doesn't flush in within the planner pages once I lay it down. So I'm just thinking that I might want to put it there for now. And then I decided that I love this uh, set of little picture icons. So I'm not a morning person and I'm cutting that out just because I know on Saturdays I like to sleep in as long as I can. but on the weekdays, I do uh, really push myself to get up and get on with the day, even though I'm very nocturnal in nature. At night is when my ideas come alive and I can't sleep. But uh, the world doesn't function that way, so I do have to kick myself in the butt and make myself get up early um, during the weekdays. So I'm just trying to figure out exactly where I want to put all of these pieces. And I'm trimming them down so that they're exactly at one and a half in width. 
And then I'm going to do that to the rest of these. Now, I'm choosing the rocket because I want to set a launch date for some of the things that I'm designing. So um, that just gives me a mental picture of that, hey, G, you need to uh, get your butt working on this and launch these out. I'm a very busy gal, but um, when you're this busy, you got to keep pushing yourself. Nobody's going to push you in this life. So, all right, I'm just trying to figure out exactly where I'm going to put these in. You're going to see that I'm repositioning everything. And that's because I want to make sure that the colors are pretty much staggered. And not only are they staggered, but they are functional in what I'm doing. So here I am selecting a teacup. I love drinking tea, um, maybe even more so than I like drinking coffee. So uh, because I do like to have my tea during my reading time, uh, I figure it was more like a devotional icon. And so I'm going to be using this teacup to signify the every Wednesday prayer and devotion time at our church. And so I'm just fussing cutting it and making sure that it's trimmed off nicely. And then I know I want to put it on Wednesday, but I couldn't decide just yet exactly in which Wednesday box I wanted it. So playing around a little bit more, but then eventually I will get down to where I want every piece. And so, um, I'm still playing around with it. Okay. So bear with me. <laughs> And I think I'm nearing the end of it. Yep, I'm nearing the end of it. I wanted the light bulb up there. And then, so what I'm doing next here is I am going to go for these circles. There are two hemispheres, uh, creating one circle with two different designs on each hemisphere. And I am using these as my um, tracking for my reading. And so that usually occurs on every Monday, Tuesday, uh, Thursdays and Fridays and not Wednesday because Wednesday is already a devotional day. So I'm just placing them down to see where I want them. And I decided that those are the correct boxes for those colors. And then I decided that I would also, uh, well, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to add one more of those piece, but no, I skipped over that. And so I decided for the typewriter, I should write down write a draft because I have editorials that need to get done and I'm planning to work on those on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So that typewriter is going to fit in perfectly where uh, the Tuesday and Wednesday boxes um, are next to each other. So it's going to overlap those two. And here I'm just taking all the pieces, putting them down and adhering it with my repositionable glue stick. And you can see that as I apply it, the paper is to curl up a little bit, but then this is a rather dry glue stick. So it's not going to warp your papers once you place it down. And so I'm just finishing it off and just sticking it back to where I think I want them to be. And so here I am putting the uh, reminder to set a launch date by Sunday and putting down those dots. But then I decide, no, nope, I want to put them on the left side, make it left aligned. And then I want to move that over because it was too close to the other pink teacup. All right. And I didn't want that one there. So I placed a new one and the light bulb. Yes, it goes right there. And so does my typewriter. And then that one goes perfectly there. And so the next step is I want it to just uh, punch out one more of these circles, but because I can't reach it uh, that far into the paper, I had to trim around it and then writing myself a reminder. And because this is a navy blue um, cardstock piece right there, I had to use a white gel pen just so it pops out. And I'm trying to figure out it. This event is a Friday and Saturday event, but primarily Saturday. So I may move it around uh, a little bit between those two dates. And I'm just referring to my notes for my monthly activities and my uh, mission board to see what else I need to put down. And I realized that, oh, uh, my husband's getting paid this Friday. So let me just use this piece of scrap strip right here. And I'm going to be marking down payday and pay bills because I pay my bills on the same day that uh, my husband gets paid. It just helps uh, to get the money in and then make sure that you um, write all the checks that need to be written out and uh, you don't have to worry about writing checks on any other day. You don't have to memorize due dates because 
uh, you've already taken care of it on every single payday. So I'm putting that down and you can see that I have placed it on the back of my hand and that's just so that it won't stick permanently. Whenever you um, put it on the back of your hand, it lifts some natural oils and then the adhesive becomes uh, repositionable. So after placing that down, I decided that I would go with my stamps now because I'm going to be figuring out what I want to put for my checklist for my top three. So I'm just playing with these, what do I want? And I decided eventually that I was gonna go with the uh, fun looking star. And you can see that this is a Heidi Swap uh, set and she has two stars, but I wanted the one that was a little bit more fun. So here I am using the red ink from Stampabilities and it's a pigment ink. And these don't bleed through if you've seen my uh, inking video, uh, stamping video for the Happy Planner pages, uh, you'll see that these inks don't bleed through at all. And so the next step is I'm wiping it off and I want to add in a little bit of yellow to bring in some of the yellows from the light bulb in that strip of, um, on the second row. So I'm adding these in and I apologize for my head getting in the way. Uh, but if I cut it out, then you won't know how the stars got there. So I had to leave my big head in the way and not edit that out. So um, putting those away and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to put in check boxes for my middle row, which is my to do row. And so uh, it's the stamp itself is slightly wider. So uh, there's a way to mask it off and make it fit into the box. And here I'm combining two different colors, my peach color and my pink color so that it will look more like that uh, peachy pink next to um, the next to the box that I'm stamping it in to the right of the box. There we go. And I'm doing the same thing, uh, just adding one more and masking it off so that the ink doesn't get everywhere into the other boxes that I don't want them in. And then I'm going to be doing the same thing with this other box, but with the green ink, just to bring in some of the green elements from the far left side of the spread. So just making sure that I stamp it off on a piece of paper first to make sure that it works just fine. Uh, masking off the edge and stamping it down. Now you can see that I lined up the lines from the masking piece just so that it's um, correctly spaced. And then once I'm done with that, I try to always clean my stamps right away with baby wipe. Next up, because this is going to be a very busy week working on these large projects, I wanted to cue myself for Saturday to just take a breather and do some writing to reflect and to check on my progress, you know, just to celebrate a little. So I wanted to cue myself for that for Saturday night. And so that's why I'm stamping this Heidi Swap stamp that says today was, um, and then a blank space. This stamp set right here is another Heidi Swap stamp set and it's one of my favorite ones because of all the basic shapes and I tend to use uh, these basic shapes to act as my little check boxes and even though I'm stamping in such a dark ink I can easily just check it off with a white gel pen. So that is what I plan to do once I check off the items in the boxes here and then just cleaning it up and going for the next stamp, which is the star again, because I forgot to put the stars on the fourth, which is Friday. And so I'm just going to add that right into my planner page right there and wiping it off and going on to the next item, which is this little Heidi Swap icon for menu planning. And although I don't usually plan my menu out for the week, it's going to be a very busy week, like I mentioned before, and I may forget uh, to plan in advance, like uh, defrost the beef or defrost the chicken. So I want to cue myself. And if there's anything in my mind that I could think of right away on that day that I can write down for uh, a meal, then I would jot it down. If not, then at least this cues me to um, just stop my work in um, like, an hour or two before uh, dinner time and start preparing for something. So that's what that is for. And so, um, as you can see, I'm using a lot of Heidi Swap and I love Heidi Swap's style when it comes to her stickers, her stamp, everything. 
I'm just adhering this piece down with a more permanent adhesive because it is cardstock laying on top of cardstock. So I prefer it to be more permanent for that. And then I'm going back to my stamp set, another Heidi Swap stamp set. And for this one, I'm going with this little icon, which is an envelope. And that's just to signify that I will have a package that is arriving. Well, not a package, but six total boxes coming from UPS with American Crafts. So I want to cue myself to not go anywhere and uh, make sure I'm at home to sign for that package. It's better than chasing down the packages. All right, and then next up, I'm going to just punch out this little light bulb just as a little reminder that I need to do an announcement on Sunday for the nominating committee. And I started to write on it and I didn't like how um, my pen smudged. So I figured that I would cover it up with a little banner and I wanted to do a white banner to see if it stands out. And I thought that it would stand out. So I started cutting it into a banner and then I figured, okay, maybe it doesn't stand out as much. So I'm gonna ink around the edge just to make it pop up. And once I got done with that, I was ready to adhere it with my Tombow uh, mono adhesive. And when I turned it around, I realized I liked it the other side better. So here I am just removing it with my adhesive eraser. And then uh, once I was done removing the adhesive, then I wrote down what I need to write on that little banner and taped it down. All right, and then next up, I decided that I would need a little inspiration note card in the middle. And um, not only does it serve as an inspiration, but I can write my notes on the back side. Anything that I need to jot down right away, I would jot down. So I decided to go with this little rocket card and uh, this green piece right here is what I went with for the backing. And so I'm just cutting it down to a four by six size using my Fiskars Precision Trimmer. And once I trimmed it down, I decided to go ahead and just trim the little card with the rocket shuttle there. And then next up, I Figured I should probably punch it with my Levenger punch first before I tape it down. And I'm just lying it here, punching it, storing it away. And I love how the Levenger just closes up in, into a, such a compact size. And so here I am just trying to visualize it with my spread. And I decided to go with a yellow washi tape. So I'm using the skinny washi tape to tape down the sides that are closer to the margin. And the um, wider, mar um, wider washi tape to tape the sides that are further away from the corners. And so I'm writing down some of the planning items that I can think of off the top of my head at this moment. I will go in and fill out the rest, but uh, just for this video purpose, you just um, need to see the decorating part and not all my little personal details. And so um, this little light bulb, it does serve as a purpose. It's just not to uh, look pretty on my page. It's to remind me that that entire day, my top priority is designing. Before anything, I need to design, design, design. And then um, I also wrote down that I need to design my planner inserts for my Kiki K on Monday as well. And so I ready to put everything away in my planner and I'm just inserting it and putting in my inspirational card, but I didn't like it there. So I moved it downward and it looks like that's it. So I hope that this has inspired you to look more into scrapbook paper to decorate your planner. Uh, it really does make the job of decorating a whole lot easier because you don't have to figure what matches what. Everything in that whole scrapbook pad or if you use a scrapbook kit, they all coordinate. So you're not gonna have any uh, troubleshooting with trying to figure things out and you can just have fun putting it all together. So I'll see you guys next time and I appreciate you guys for watching my super long video. But I hope that this was enjoyable for you as much as it was for me to just put this together. And I will have another video out. So just subscribe so you can see more video. Thank you so much. Bye.